Hey there, I am Parth Doshi, exploring the field of RPA and sharing my learnings with you by making videos. So this is this video is going to be on UiPath forms. So in the latest update by UiPath and the Studio version, there are many different features which have been added to UiPath forms. So in this video, we are going to see a small concept, but yet very helpful in some cases. So in this video, we are going to see how we can display a PDF file in our UI path forms. So suppose if you want to display a specific PDF file, maybe it contains some readme guidelines or something related to filling the form and you don't want to keep the text for that and you want to have a specific field where you can do that. So we are going to see how we can display a PDF file in our UI path form. So let's get started. So this is my uh, UI path studio and I've des already designed a workflow now to use UiPath form activities, what you need to do is install a package uipath.form.activities as you can see over here. Now, once you have done that, you will be seeing an activity called create form. So once this activity is there, you just need to drag it over here. Now we have the form design. So let me open that. And now we are going to see which particular component we can use. To display a PDF file. So now the first one which you can see the text displaying PDF in UiPath form. I've used a content for that. So once I drag it, you see I have an option to type. Let me change from paragraph to heading. Maybe it is like so. I have done this way, and I have added that particular text field displaying PDF in UiPath form. You can add whatever you are designing that particular form for. So in case if we are using multiple forms in that case this can be useful to mention what that particular form is for so now once that is done you have to drag this html element over here to display your pdf now even i have done that already so let's see what changes do we need to make in that now here you see this content section the content of this html element so now here is where we have to write our html code so what we are doing is to display our pdf we are going to create a frame with a specific width and height and in that we are going to give the source file you can say the path file path of our pdf so now once you write iframe so this is the code opening the brackets iframe src is the source equal to slash file colons this you need to type by default along with two forward slash so this will indicate that we are trying to display a file which is pdf in our uipath form using the html element so now you need to do this once you do this what you need to do is just give the simple normal path as which we give for any file so here you can see c users and now there will be all the backward slash user path one drive desktop the folder is main then there is youtube and then there is the pdf name temp.pdf which can be seen over here temp.pdf so i've used that over here as you can see after that i am giving width as 1000 and height as 500 so these are the simple properties of iframe html element that we can use so now once this is done you can see we have added the file path of our pdf now we will see whether we are able to see that or not so now also there are more different features added which are you can see logic we can add advanced logic and all that i will be soon making many videos on ui path forms on how you can use that logic concepts and all that so let me just save this and close so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save my file and run to check whether i'm able to see the pdf or not so let me run okay so now displaying pdf in ui path form as you can see and now this was the frame size which i had kept so now you see i'm able to see the complete pdf over here so now suppose if you want a user to fill some form and before that you want to show some instruction so instead of adding the text file you can give uh, maybe a instruction or guide file 
to be filled in that form maybe th there should not be this data or there should not be that data so you can use this particular concept of pdf over here and the next videos you will be seeing how we can display an image how we can display dynamic check boxes drop downs and all that all the new features of ui platforms so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned so let me just cancel this and okay so this is how in one simple step and a single line of code we can display pdfs in our ui platforms i hope you got a clear understanding of displaying pdf in ui platforms and how it can be useful and what are the maybe applications or use cases of it stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to stay updated to all the new videos i upload thank you for watching the complete video